Hi guys, it's me again, Mr. Goldgiver here, doing another tutorial video for you guys today. Today I'll be showing you how to enable DX11 in American Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator 2. Uh, so yeah, let's get going. First, what you want to do is you want to go into Steam and you want to download the 1.35 beta update for both games or whatever game that you're playing so I've already done it for both of them so to do this all you got to do for instance on American Truck Slimmer you want to right click it go to properties then go over to the betas tab and then you want to press it up here you'll see this and you want to click this one here which it says experimental beta 1.35 experimental beta uh, it for European truck simulator will just say experimental beta. It won't have all the rest of this. So once you've uh, you want to click that, and then it will download the beta update, and then you just wait for that to finish. Once that's done, now you want to go into your C drive or your system hard drive, and you want to go into users, and then into your computer's name one here, which mine's John. Then you want to go. Uh, into documents and you want to look up American Truck Simulator or European Truck Simulator here depending on what you're doing and you want to for me I'm going to go into America Truck Simulator then once you've done that you want to look for the file called config ini which is this one right here and you want to right click that and go to edit or open up with dopepad something like that so I'm going to just go edit it does it for me automatically and then once you've done that you want to go into edit then you want to go find and this is what you want to put in use net uh, underscore device and then you want to put in on, uh, two commas and in between the commas you want to put in uh, American trucks and just put in DX uh, for European Truck Simulator 2, it is uh, DL, I think it is. So you put that in for that. So you want to do that. Now, uh, hang on. Stop finding it. Hang on. Or you can just do that and then just go like that and it'll come up anyway. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll see this part here. It's right under Use Net uh, pa uh, Path. So that's what you're looking for, right? This one right here. Now, um, by default, uh, American Truck Simulator, it has DX9. All you got to do is change that from DX9 to DX11. And then you just want to uh, go to File, then Save. I've already done this, so I don't need to. Uh, and then that's it. Then you just uh, run up uh, American Truck Simulator or European Truck Simulator 2. And you will notice a massive uh increase in performance and frames per second because i used to try to play american truck simulator and european truck simulator 2 on 84k with my gtx 2080 ti but i always used to get like massive drop-offs uh, about 10 to 12 frames per second especially when i went through um the big town areas but with this it's I just tested it for the last hour before I started this video and it works perfect. Of course it depends on what graphics card you have or what CPU or how much RAM you have. I've got my system is a Ridian 7, uh, I think it's 2600X. I've got 32 gigabyte of RAM as I said before I've got a GTX 2080 Ti so I'm perfectly set for 4K uh so yeah um well if you enjoyed this uh video tutorial guys uh please leave a like share and if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications little bell icon uh so you get updates whenever i do new videos so yeah peace out guys and i'll see you next time